In today's video, we're going to show you how to install a solar vent into a geodesic dome um, or similar tent if you need solar ventilation. Um, so this dome at the moment has no solar vent in it. That is where the solar vent is going to go, but it is extremely hot in here and very stuffy. So we need to get this solar vent in before the weekend because the guests are going to roast. So we're going to show you exactly what you need, how to do it, and tell you how long roughly it's going to take. So here's what you will need to install your solar vent. A preferably man with a tractor or similar, definitely a second person and definitely something that's going to get you up to the height of where the vent is going, which is this panel here. Um, you need the solar vent. So our solar vent comes from True Domes because they supply the vent plate with it. Um, you will need some silicon sealant and a caulking gun. You will need the instructions. You will also need the bag of screws that go with it a knife and your phone to take photos, silly photos like this of people poking their heads through the dome. You also need a pair of sunglasses because when you get up there and you're looking directly at the white canvas, it is blinding, so don't forget your sunglasses. So I will end up going on the bucket of the tractor and Brian's gonna lift me up. We have also need a ladder to go on the inside so that one of you can go on the inside and one of you can go on the outside. Let's get going, shall we? I have the worst job. Do you know how hot it is in here? I know, it is really hot. So oh my good grief. We really put the insulation in, so we're going to need to take away this layer of insulation and move the bed so we can get in there. So now we can access underneath the insulation and you'll see what we did before is put the vent plate in, which comes with um, with the soda vent if you're buying through True Domes. So the vent plate has got holes in it ready for the screws to go through from the soda vent on the outside. It also fits perfectly in this triangle and means that it's got something to attach onto, but you've got to do that before you put the cover on. That is essential. So the first thing Brian's going to do is cut the hole in the, that circle in the canvas. This is the scary part because you never really like just chopping a big hole in the canvas. So here's the solar vent. So it comes with a remote controller or a plug to plug into a wall. Obviously we don't have any uh, mains power up here. So we just leave it on all the time, which is probably the most sensible thing anyway for ventilation. So you can see it's all one unit. These are the holes that are gonna go through the vent plate. Um, and you can see it's starting to spin already as the sun's hit the solar panel. So I'm gonna get this up in the bucket of the tractor and then I've got to hold it up onto that circle while Brian's gonna poke the holes through from the other side. We've separated out the, I've got all the nuts and the washers and Brian's got all the screws and a set of washers. Um, you also need a ratchet. This is a 5 16th so that you can put that on the nut. Do, 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 do. at the bucket of the tractor. It's always a good place to be. Okay, have you put your silicon on yet? No, because we need to do the holes, don't we? No. Put your silicon on. Okay. So you need to kind of start making holes. We've tried it before, we've drilled all the holes and then it has never quite lined up properly. So we've given up with that this time to so save us a bit of time. Um, and basically, so now I need to put silicon onto the, this, hang on. So you need three rings of silicon, one on the inside, one over the holes and one on the outside. So I am going to give that a whirl now and hope my silicon's still all right. Okay, ah, I'm burning. Ah, oh, this, this tractor. So you're just look, basically lines of silicon. I can't really silicon and film, so hold on. So the silicon is all on, I put quite a lot on. And now you have to work fast, so I'm going to place this up and then try and get that through the bolt that Brian's put through, or the screw that he's put through already. So this is now hooked on to the first screw that he's put in, and now I'm going to put the washer and the nut on and do that all the way around. 
So that is the solar bed now installed. All the screws are not far in. Here is the solar vent wearing away from the inside. Um, now we just got to get the insulation back on. And it took us about 45 minutes, so not too bad. And now I need to get down, please. Because I'm stuck up here forever. If you have any questions, um, please just leave them in the comments. We'd be more than happy to help. Um, but yeah, if you found it useful, let us know, drop us a like, um, subscribe to the page, and uh, we will hopefully see you again soon.